Whatever. My side points gain. Hooray! I think I was supposed to do. So Man, I thought I got her back at this point or something. Oh well. Maybe I get a chance to kill her yet, and still be light side. That'd be fantastic. Stupid bitch, God, I hate Basla. Kotor 2's characters are so much more likable, far more interesting. I don't know if anybody's like a snooty bitch in that one, but if they are, they probably have a good reason for doing so. Shut down Temple Energy Shield. You know, shut down Planetary Disruptor Field. Okay, we're done. Let's a leave. Let's a leave. No, best. I thought she was supposed. To Maybe she doesn't come back. Am I thinking of something else? It may am. Oh well, whatever. Let's leave. LOL. And all that good stuff. At least the front doors are like, you know, right here. That's handy. It really didn't take me long at all, did it, to get through that temple. Uh, as far as I can remember, we're done with this place. Some more chit-chat. And, um... That's really about all there is. I think. Well, let's go find that before I, you know, say too much and it turns out, oh, I'm a fucking idiot the entire time. Like, has happened many times before. I thought I knew what I was talking about with this temple, but, um, the end... Um, yeah. Whatever. So this is going a little bit differently than I remember. So maybe I got this game all wrong. Um, gee, nobody here to greet me. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, this way, I imagine. Oh, fun fact. Uh, back at that temple. Uh, well, you know, I'll, I'll explain it all here in a little bit. It's basically a what if. What if you're dark side? Basically. And that spot up there on the temple is the point of no return. For basically choosing whether you're going to be, whether you're settling on light side or dark side. I'm pretty sure that is the point of no return. And we have passed that point. I think I'll make a separate save file there. Maybe make a separate video and see, like, if you can actually kill her? I'm not sure. Hello, everybody! We're back, hooray! And Duhani and Jolie are walking weird and very fast. But where's Bastila? Is she alive? What happened inside that, that temple? You don't need to know. Uh, Basil is dead, Karth. We're not killing no time. Basil has fallen to the dark side. She fled to the Star Forge. The dark side? Basil? No! No! How could that happen? Take off those you glasses, seriously. You always danger of being seduced by, by the dark side, Karth. Basil was strong, but she was always impatient and headstrong. Malak preyed upon her weakness. Yeah. This planet is a tainted place. The Star Forged and the Temple have twisted the Force into an instrument of evil, just as Malak has twisted Bastila into a servant of the Sith. Uh, <sighs> she can still be saved, can't she? Malak has a strong hold on Bastila now. It will be difficult for her to break free of his influence, especially considering her long association with you. Remember the bond that was forged between you when she rekindled the spark that was your life. Through that bond, she touched your memories, and also the echo of the dark taint within you. But there's still hope for her, right? I mean, Revan rejected the dark side, so Basila could too, right? We still might be able to save her. Yeah, but I kind of forgot that I was a Sith Lord. You know, that, that's a little different. See, Basila, she's like, hmm, you're teaching me about this dark side stuff, and it sounds pretty... 
fascinating, exciting, glamorous, and all this other good stuff. Me, I just get bumped on the noggin and then I forget. Uh, I might want to say, I mean, what chance does she have? <laughs> That's a good point. Uh, we can try, and we. Uh. Yeah, fuck it. I don't know what the fate awaits us, but I sense Bastila still has a role to play in the events to come. Yeah. I have no doubt she will be waiting for us on the Star Forge. No doubt. But let's go then before she has time to organize a bigger welcoming committee. Okay, fun fact. Um if you're a dark side, what'll happen is you'll team up with Bastila. You and this is where everything just goes batshit fucking insane and evil. Um, with Basila, you will kill Jolie and Juhani. When you get back to the ship, Karth pussies out and runs away. Mission tries to stop you, and at this point, you can do the most heinously fucking evil thing in the game. You can either kill Mission. That's not even the most heinously evil part. The most heinously evil part is you can convince this guy right here, Zalbar, her best friend, a guy that owes you a life debt, you can convince him to kill her. Yes, you can. And Mission dies. She doesn't get away. She dies. So that's Jolie dead, Juhani dead, Mission dead, Karth running away. So, for the Final bits on board uh, the Star Forge. You have you, Zalbar, uh, the droids, Candorus, and Bastila. That's it. Candorus is just like, whatever, the whole time. Old Duke Nukem here. Yeah, what do you want? Shut up. Uh, you know anything about this world? This world is... Oh, yeah, I already asked you that. Seen... I don't... You have any... Well, maybe I did the off-camera, I'm not sure. Your choice. Okay, Karth. Yes, what? Oh, you're. <laughs> you look so silly. You got it. It's like, whoa, dude. Um, I guess we just take off. Get on board. And, um, yeah. No condition. Until you find. What? Oh, for fuck's sake, I have to do this myself. We're gonna replace the damn things. Okay, let's go do this room by room. Can I just talk to the little droid and have him do it? Uh, no. Beep boop bop. Hey there. Um, no. Okay. Oh, mission! I could never kill you, except for that one time I went through on dark side. I always, always, always play light side. Like any game I play, good guy, paragon, light side, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but I always try to go through the game at least once on evil playthrough, just to see how things are different. And it broke my heart when Mission died. That was just—I mean, I didn't care about Juhani or Jolie so much. And Karth running away—that was back when I kind of liked Karth, though. But. I don't know why I didn't notice this before, but now he's just fucking whiny as shit. Oh, Harbor Drive. Uh, okay. Is that all I needed to do? But why do I need the hyperdrive to get to the Star Forge? The Star Forge is just above the damn planet. Was it something else, maybe? Whatever. Yeah, Carl threw away, that wasn't a big deal. I was like, okay, Carl's still alive, he's just like, you know, somewhere. But mission, mm, that didn't sit well with me at all. Eh, I wasn't happy about that in the least. Is there anything I can do? Maybe that's maybe that's it. All right, let's head back up. Hope that's it. I want to need to fix the hyperdrive though. That seems kind of silly. Like engines, okay. Uh, 
yeah. Starforge go. But yeah, what's kind of throwing me off right now is I thought Basil was supposed to rejoin you. Maybe that's only if you pick the right dialogue options. I thought she rejoined you, like, right here on the planet. The Republic fleet must have gotten the message I sent as we were crashing into that planet. I'm picking up a transmission from them now. This is uh oh. Uh-oh. Do you read us? Now. This is Cartha Nassi. We're receiving your transmission. Karth, I'm glad to see you're still alive. We've begun our assault on the Star Forge, but we're taking heavy losses. How did the Sith ever manage to build something of this scope? They did. The Star Forge wasn't constructed by the Sith, Admiral. We don't have time for me to fully explain it, but that space station is far older than you can imagine. Maybe we should pull the fleet back and retreat. I don't know if we have the firepower to go up against this alien technology. You can't do that, Admiral. The Star Forge is a factory of immense power. It's been churning out the capital ships, snub fighters, and assault droids that have powered the Sith war effort. You have to destroy the Star Forge now, or you'll be fighting an unending wave of reinforcements. Then I guess we have no choice. But it isn't going to be easy. It never we is. We can't even get our capital ships into position to start bombarding the Star Forge. The Sith fleet is too well organized. It's like they can guess our every move and count our every strategy. It's because of Bastila, Admiral. She turned to the dark side and became Malak's apprentice. We suspect she's somewhere on that space station right now, using her battle meditation against you and your fleet. Right uh -oh. This is Master Vandor. A number of Jedi Knights have joined our fleet under his command. Yay. If Bastila is using her power to augment the Sith, then Malak's fleet is invincible. Our only hope is to somehow stop Bastila from using her battle meditation. Let's hit her to the head, we'll do that. She's on the space station. I will send a squadron of Jedi Knights to the Star Forge to find Bastila. Their small ships will be able to fly through the Sith blockade and dock on the space station. <clears throat> if they can find Bastila, they may be able to distract her attention from the battle overhead. That should allow you to move your capital ships into position for a final assault on the Star Forge itself. I hate to ask this after all you've done, Karth, but the Jedi may need all the help they can get. Yeah. Don't worry, Admiral. The Evanhawk and her crew are gonna see this through to the end. And may the Force be with you. The Force is always with me. Yeah. Not much of a blockade around it, is there? We just snuck in through the back door, I guess? Nice. Oh. Oh, fail. Fail. Hey, a few of us made it anyway, hooray! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Star Forge. Hmm. Yes, what's on your mind? Shut up. You got it. Let's hear anything about this place, yeah. I'll do the rounds real quick. Um, I could get some story bits about from everybody else, but I'm not going to bother. I'll do it for a few people. Um, and by few people, I mean... Uh, Candor's and Mission. <laughs> I don't think HK's got anything else to say, but I'll give it a whirl. HK? Statement. HK-47 is ready to serve, Master. Goody. Uh, nothing. As you desire, Master. Signing off. Candorous? Yeah, what do you want? Tell me about the... Oh, wait, you don't know anything about this place. Your choice. I'm here if you want something done right. Candorous, I wish I could have taken you the entire journey, but I've never used HK before, and mission's just too valuable to leave behind. Hey there, what can I do for you? Uh, no, nothing. Okay, have it your way. Right now. Okay, let's step out.
The final group! Mission and HK-47! Sorry, Ganders. I wonder how long the Star Forge is. Maybe I'll do it before I go to bed. Do I want to do it before I go to bed? I don't know. I'm going to be kind of tired. Maybe. Maybe. Hello. You made it. Several Jedi have already gone <coughs> ahead into the Star Forge. We have to strike while we still have the element of surprise. If we don't stop Bastila from using her battle meditation, the entire Republic fleet will be wiped out. Oh no. Come on, before they Oh hello. Damn! So much for catching them unprepared. Yeah. We'll deal with these things. You get into the Star Forge and find them. Bastila, hurry! Something tells me you losers are gonna lose. Because that's what losers do. They lose. And the game is getting choppy. Come on. Oh no, I'm gonna chop them all up, boy! Come on, boy! No! Quit being slow! Slow down, bad! Switch! Damn you! Fine, I don't need any damn force power. What's going on? I'm spinning in circles! What the hell is going on? Yeah, we'll just shoot the shit out of him. Thank you, Revan, for doing absolutely nothing. Twitch. Let the blaster people, like, have all the fun. Oh, well, you two, good job. Right. Okay, Starforge. Let's, uh... Let's save and call it quits here. Let's see. Um... That was the summit. Okay, I want to save that file. Let's see if you can. Let's see if you can kill her. Uh, yeah. I'll, uh, what the hell? Bonus footage time. So, uh, well, hmm. yeah. Let's see what happens. Um. No, I'll do it some other time. Fuck it. I'll make a bonus footage or something. Okay, uh, thank you folks for watching. When we come back, the Star Forge, this will be the last recording block. Anything after that would be extra goodies. So thank you folks for watching, and I will catch you guys later.